Oh. Whew. Bird just tried to get my lure. Get away, get away, go. No, 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 no. Well, thank you for joining me this evening. I'm going to be fishing with some vintage lures again. And I'm going to start off with a brand new in the package Bill Dance eel. Never been opened. Here's the back of it. See what it does. Oh, that's a hit. Got him. Oh, yeah. Oh, first cast. First cast. Bill Dan's eel doesn't catch a bass, it catches a huge crappie. Check that out. Huh. First cast hooks into this nice crappie. Awesome. Oh, that's a fish. I thought it was a rock. Alrighty then. I thought I was getting snagged in the rocks right there. That's three casts, three hits. Man. Oh, there's a hit. Got him. Is this another copy? I think it was another crappie. Huh. Hmm. Didn't look like a crappie. Hit it again. Anyway, got it that time. Little bass. This guy's about as, well, it's as big as the lure. The hit. Got him. Got him. Oh, he threw it right in front of me. A couple pounds. He was a couple. Alrighty. Alright, next up is the head and scissor tail. It was an interesting concept by heading back in the 50s supposedly whenever you retrieve it this tell scissors as you retrieve it and the production run only lasted for about four years on these things because at the last minute mr. Hedden wanted to add glitter on there and fishermen were not happy with that because when they used it it didn't scissor like it was supposed to and they would they would instead stick together so gonna see if this thing's working at all and and give it a shot Yeah, it is definitely not going back and forth. Uh, that, that tail is not scissoring like it's supposed to. I could see it as I reeled it in. It's just kind of flopping around in the water. So this might be a, a short try. Going to give it a few more casts.
if anything hits on this, it would have to be due just to the action the jointed lure gives. I don't know if it'll swing that tail back and forth enough to... It must have been, oh wow, there's a big branch under there. There must have been a storm that blew a bunch of big limbs out in the water. Well, I lost my scissor tail. I got snagged on a huge limb or some kind of stump, something in the water. Must have been a storm that blew some big branches down in there. And I unfortunately lost the scissor tail lure. Didn't have any hits at it about five casts. Tried casting it about five times. Didn't get any hits on it. And you could tell that the movement was off on it. So I would have been surprised if I did get anything on it. But I might try it again in the future. Find another one and try it. So stay tuned. On to the next one. All right. Now we're going to fish with a creek chub injured minnow. Double propeller. Oh, ho 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 ho. Oh, he got it. No, but does he? Yep, yeah, he's got it. Okay. All right. Not a bad start. One thing I noticed about this lure that might be a little overkill on the hooks it's got nine total hooks on it i think it's got one treble hook too many but it's my opinion oh got him got him that time Another bad one. Another nice bass on the creek chub. Huh. Hit it with its nose or something and popped it up about three or four inches out of the water.
Oh, oh, oh. It was a little bit bigger. It was about three or four. Oh, man. Just as I was lifting it up out of the water.